Praise the Lord. Greetings to everyone around the globe. I am Brother Chodo, and you are most welcome in Jesus' name. I have no doubt in my mind that by the end of this teaching, you will be abundantly blessed. And I know that you will not want to miss this teaching. Hallelujah. Before we continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your promises. Your promises are yea and amen. We thank you because you promised to come and take us home. We thank you because you went to heaven to prepare a place for us and to come back here on earth and to take us to be with you forever. Lord, as we examine your word, let every viewer, every listener understand that you are coming back, that you clearly taught us that you are coming back any moment from now, so that he or she will prepare him herself for your coming. In Jesus' name, I cover this teaching with the blood of Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So the Lord Jesus Christ himself clearly taught that he is coming back. We are looking at the introduction of timely and present understanding of the times in which we live. We are living in the times that anything can happen. We are living in a generation that anything can happen. The world can come to an end at any moment and the Lord Jesus Christ can come at any moment. The Lord Jesus Christ himself clearly taught us that he will come. So, to this end, let's open our Bibles to John, to the book of John, chapter 14. I'm going to read part B of verse 2 and verse 3. John is in the New Testament. John is the fourth book in the New Testament. The first book in the New Testament is Matthew, the second is Mark, the third is Luke, and the fourth book is John. The book of John chapter 14. Part B of verse 2 and verse 3. I read. I go to prepare a place for you. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. I'm going to repeat because it's very important. This is Jesus himself talking to us. I'm reading John 14, part B of verse 2 and verse 3. Part B of verse 2, I read. I go to prepare a place for you, verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Did you hear that? He says he will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. I go to prepare a place for you, says the Lord Jesus Christ. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, says the Lord Jesus Christ, and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. So the Lord Jesus Christ is the one to do it. Here, 
the word I or the letter I is used many times. One, I go to prepare a place for you. Two, and if I go and prepare a place for you, three, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And for where I am, there you may be also. So the Lord Jesus Christ is abundantly clear that he is coming again. He is abundantly clear. He teaches us that he is coming again. Therefore, his coming is unquestionable. His coming is unambiguous. His coming is unequivocal. His coming is abundantly clear. His coming is crystal clear. His coming is plain. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. So, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is a fact, is the truth, is plain, is abundantly clear, is crystal clear, is unquestionable, is unambiguous, and is unequivocal. In other words, he is coming. He is coming any moment from now. He promised to come. And God is not a man that should lie. When God says something, he does it. He promised to come. And he is coming any moment from now. He is coming any time from now. He is coming any moment from now. The question is, are you ready for his coming? Are you prepared for his coming? Are you watchful for his coming? He says, he will come again. I'm reading once again, John 14, Part B of verse 2 and verse 3. This is the Lord Jesus Christ talking to us. It is the Lord Jesus Christ himself who is talking. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. So, underline the phrase, I will come again in your Bible. Look for a pen and underline that phrase because it is of paramount importance. Underline the phrase, I will come again. And receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. So the Lord Jesus Christ is abundantly clear. You cannot say that you did not know that he was going to come again. You cannot say that he was not explicit that he was going to come again. You cannot say that he was not clear that he is going to come again. He is explicit. He is very, very clear. He is abundantly clear. He is crystal clear that he will come again. He doesn't say that he may come again. He doesn't say that he should come again. He doesn't say that he could come again. He says, I will come again. That is definite, period. So, he is coming again. Are you ready for his coming? 
Are you prepared for his coming? Are you watchful for his coming? You can only be ready, be prepared and be watchful for his coming if you know him, if you are his follower, if you are a believer in him. In this respect, if you not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, pray with me as follows. Lord Jesus, I thank you for what you did on the cross of Calvary. You came to pay the price for my sin. I accept that I am a sinner. I am a miserable sinner. I was conceived in sin. I was conceived in iniquity. I was conceived in transgression. I believe that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. And I confess that you are my Lord forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for what you did. And Lord, give me the grace to begin to serve you in holiness and righteousness, thereby preparing for your coming in Jesus' name. If you have done so, congratulations. You are now a follower of Jesus Christ. And uh, we admonish you to send us an email, and we shall pray for you. Send us an email to worldwidebws at gmail.com. Worldwide, B as in boy, W as in woman, S as in school, at gmail.com, and we shall pray for you. Begin to serve the Lord henceforth in righteousness and holiness on a daily basis as his coming draws near in Jesus' name. Remain blessed. Have a blessed day. Until we see you again, I am Brother Theodore. Over and out.